Hey all, this is our electric go-kart that we built from scratch. Uh, this build is loosely based off of uh, Saronster's uh, electric go-kart that he showed on his channel. So yeah, the frame here is uh, custom built. We welded it all ourselves. Uh, we have suspension components, steering rack. Uh, that's all from eBay. Uh, we have an e-brake connected to the back, uh, to, the, to the rear axle. Uh, we have a relay here that this is uh, allows us to shut the power off in case anything goes boom. Um, in the back here, we have a QS138 motor uh, with the, uh, the corresponding speed controller for it. Um, the rear sprocket here, this was actually custom built because this stupid axle that we bought, we couldn't find a rear axle that would actually work with it. So we plasma cut that. So we plasma cut, designed it in, in CAD and then uh, plasma cut it. Um, what else here? We got, yeah, rear suspension here. We have pivot points down there. Go ahead and see kind of the suspension work there. Yeah, it's pretty cushy. So obviously this is our first test drive. So there's still some things that we have to kind of work out here. Uh, we have our, our forward and reverse switch here that is very permanently mounted currently. Uh, that's gonna get fixed. We're gonna do some nice plates there to make that all clean. So a few of the issues that we've run into uh, since we put it together now, uh, mainly the steering here is way too uh, aggressive. Uh, the, the steering rack definitely moves the wheels way too far, which causes uh, to get a little sketchy when you start making some really sharp turns. Oh. Luckily we have enough power in the rear that we can basically just slide the entire go-kart and it, it works, but we want to make that better. There's also some bump steer that goes on um, you can kind of see it there. <laughs> um, so this is our uh, homemade battery that we created. Smoking. Unplug it. Really? Yeah. Uh, I bought two robotics batteries off a of battery hookup, and uh, we we hooked them up together to make 72 volts, uh, 52 amp hours. Stop. The case here is, is uh, steel. We just um, went ahead and cut it and welded it together and created a 3D printed top plate here. We have a charge cable and then we also have main power coming off of it right there. It's uh, pretty clean uh, and weighs about 50 pounds, I'd say. Um, yeah. It has suspension, so should we get a little, little off-roady here? Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh! 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 
That, that works. 